Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you are new here, we are thrilled to have you. Last year, we purchased this beautiful Japanese IKEA house as an amazing price. It is a traditional home with so much history and character, and we can't wait to show you around. Join us as we take you through this old house and explore every nook and cranny. We will be documenting the entire process of repairing and renovating it, bringing it back to its original glory. There's a lot of work ahead, but we are excited to share every step of this journey with you. So stay tuned and hit that subscribe button. Today, we're going to tackle not only one, but two essential home maintenance tasks, rain gutter and a leaky kitchen faucets. So get ready because we are dive into a unique challenging of maintaining a 50 year old house in the Japanese countryside. So first up, let's talk about rain gutter. Now, we all know they are not the most thrilling topic, but trust me, they are vital for protecting your home from the water damage. We're going to start by inspecting the rain gutter at the front of the house facing north. Here's the catch. You can't always spot the problem by just looking at it. That is why we are doing this inspection on a rainy day to catch those sneaky leaks in action. We have already spotted some trouble area like heavy damage to one side of the house where stucco is peeling off. The estimate fixed just that side alone, it is a whooping $3,000. But wait, there are more. With an aging house like ours, there could be a whole host of issues lurking beneath the surface. Take the roof, for example. With a faulty rain gutter, there's a risk of roof damage and leaks, which could spell disaster if left unchecked. And not let's forget about the foundation. Water shipping from those leaky gutter can cause crack or instability over time. And that's not all. We got tile on the front entry step, starting to come loose due to the excess water that required the bottom drainage to be clean. It is another DIY project added to our to-do list for the next day at the house. But wait, there are more. Let's talk about the storm shutter door. Living in a region prone to heavy rain and snow mean our house taking a beating. Our storm shutter door are no exception. The bottom sill of our front shutter is showing a serious sign of wear and tear thanks to the relentless sun, rains, and snow. We got an estimate range from 6000 to 8000 for a replacement of a wooden shutter or a 4000 to a 6000 for a metal shutter. It is a tough call for us to tackle with our limit time in Japan. As we heading to the back of the house, we're gonna inspect the other two facing south rain gutter. There is also water dripping down from the rain gutter. So this back side is also show the damage. We are looking at the other side at the further end and we will head over there to inspect. Check out our backyard. I often find myself wondering how can I breathe new life into it? What steps should I take? And where can I find the assistance I need? I really have to find somebody to take care of the garden especially cutting down the tree, mowing the grass, taking out the weed. It is seem a daunting task and I definitely need somebody help. Did you spot that? That is a stinky bug 
I did not realize what it is until I cracked one. I was trying to bring this guy out, and somehow he disappeared into the crack line. There are some perks coming with the old house. There are free tools that are laying around, so it's a matter of fact if you're in luck or not. Alright, so let's just head over to the other side of the house and we'll inspect the last rain gutter. As we're stepping out, um, the dripping is doesn't look or seem as bad as the other side, but I spot the rain coming to the door frame. And the reason why it is splashing from the second roof from the storage over to this side of the house, which is a problematic. So we need to fix that dripping issue at the top. Any leak over time will cause mold and mildew. The moisture problem from our leaky kitchen faucets or a faulty gutter could create a breeding ground for these pesky intruder, not to mention the potential health risks they pose. And what about electrical hazard? Water leak near electrical outlet or wiring could cause or lead to a short circuit or even electrical fire. Yike, you don't want this to happen. So please stay tuned for this episode where we'll dive into replacing the kitchen faucet rubber shield. Then. In the next excitement installment, episode 3, we will explore and inspect the bathroom faucet's rubber shield and possible replacing it. And then we'll look into the traditional Japanese squat toilet, probably replace the seal to prevent it from leaking. So don't miss it. And here you see it's come apart already. Um, this is coming from the, the wall and the unit is actually um, connecting like this. Um, so it's keep leaking on the cold side, but I figure this is an old, um, this is an old house. So, um, if I already open this, maybe, you know, open it out all the way and then replace all the part. So I'm start removing piece by piece, um, the cap where it's put on top and there's a cylinder valve in here that you screw in. And then, um, once you get that top knob removed, the cylinder can come out. And then you remove this out, uh, this bolt out, um, and then you can remove the um, the process assembly down. And within there, there's a um, seal, rubber shield, but you know you can see it's all it's disintegrate right now, and it's very hard, kind of like that. So I'm glad I opened it. I just have to take this to the uh, home improvement shop and, and and see if I can get a uh, a match on on these. So um, you see, it's all broken. It's not leaking from this area, but um, it will be. I can tell you that it will be. As you see here, it's pretty bad. It's splitting the part apart. So, um, I'm going to get some brush and clean it off and then clean it up right here and right here. And maybe I open this one out too. So, it's, I can get the, the valve for the little shield unit for this guy. Um, the second thing is, once you turn off the water, you have no water to work with. So, I recommend get a bucket of water somewhere near you. So, you can, um, you can use it. So yeah, wrench. That's what you need. Oh, not great. Uh, it'd be better that you disassemble them while they are on it. And I realized that once I lose it out already, one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back. Since I already got the seal out, that's good. That's my main purpose there too. To get the seal and bring it to the shop. So they can help me, um, they can help me um, find the right, the right one. Get some, some dirt out. temporary right and then I can use this as a um, leverage so I can remove the other part this is part of the DIY <sighs> all right I need to seal this off um, the grout line is dried up so I gotta find some color red I don't know kind of strange but maybe it's clear 
and then reseal this area so the water don't get inside. All right, so tie this a little bit by hand. So I'm having a challenge with this top piece. Um, I need to remove. Let me go get a plier. Find a better angle, but unfortunately this is it. Um, yeah, right there. Where's the... So on top, this is an old Toto uh, brand. So on top there's a little cover. Um, you just have to remove it because if you sit inside, it's like that. Just cover on top. Okay. So I'm gonna see I can break this off. Oh, okay, it's turnable. Good. Okay, not like it at all. So when I turn it, oh, there you go. Get it off. That worked. I still have the red. The black one is gone. Oh, now. I should wear some gloves. I'm gonna hurt myself. Okay, so I got that off, but it's not coming off. Well, let's look at the old part. Yeah, it's coming out pretty easy. So must be rust. Alright, so if I tight down and knock it out. There you go. Boop up. Just come on. Voila. Okay, so here's another thing I need to remove. I'm gonna put on both sides so I know I don't mismatch them. This is on this side. Um, okay, I got the part. So this is the one that I remove on this side. And man, this is another part. I don't know if they will have all the parts on this. This is the challenge thing at the shop. I don't know if they will have it. Can you open this thing? This is metal or plastic? Um, so this thing goes down. And we'll press on this. So this is not, this is not plastic. Hmm. I know, gotta change this then. This is the one that is leaking. Um, how do you change it? Let me see if I, I can remove everything from here. Some light. Whoa. Okay. There you go. So, within Within this ring, there's a line that you look inside the hole, you will see a line. So I use that uh, line to crack it further and I was able to separate the two pieces. And I think this is another valve you have to change. And it really looked like metal to me. So this two sitting on top of each other. Yeah, it's one piece. Let me wash it. I don't know, maybe it's better off just go buy a, um, a new one and put it on. Rather than go finding all the part to fix it. Okay, so you see that? That's sitting inside there. So it could be any of these that leaking, right? And it will allow the water going through. So if I'm pretend... It'll seal all the way. If it closed, water shouldn't come up. Okay, so maybe just this. Oh. Yeah, this is open it up. Yeah, this is just open it up. So this is the important one. If I close it, it should shut up all the water. This uh, bottom rubber piece. Up here, I don't think it's important. But it will be clean. We'll scrape it off. And it will be clean. It will sit like that. And this would need to change. And that going to that. That's one piece. So let's take this piece out. I'm gonna pry with my finger. Come up a little bit. I thought I could try with it. I gotta get some of the glove. Wow, this thing. 
pretty hard to unfair. There we go. I find a trick. So you gotta hold one plier and then unscrew the other side because there's a screw. I didn't think that that was the case, but well, now I know. Now I know. There you go. Come up. Rusty little screw. There you go. This is the valve. It look okay, but unfortunately it does not do the job. So it went like this. I wonder how inside look like. Because it do have a mark. It do have a mark. So that's going down. Alright. So that is the culprit. Let me sand it off a little bit before I put it back in. Well, I like to keep the old part. I mean, the old faucets just look good. Well, it's not look good, but it's traditional. Uh oh, this is over here. See, it's not mixing up. There we go. That's the part. This is the part. All right, so that is one side, the cold side, I think. Um, let me pick inside. Nothing in here. Yep. So it go over a little bump up on a ring style, and that's where it make the contact. All right, I'm gonna remove this. Put that over. So I won't break it. Um, I won't make a mark on it, basically. Uh, I don't know which way to... Yeah, this is what happened. You're not a professional, so... You don't know which way you need to turn. <laughs> um, let's see. Lefty loose. Okay, that's great. I went to the right side then. Is it this? Yep. I think I need to get a smaller wrench. Same thing. Um, this is not gonna affect, so I will clean it later. But I'm gonna get the valve in here. Oh, look at this. This one have this one on top. Interesting. This one does not have it. Okay. Have a little metal. Uh -huh. Maybe someone serviced this process before and they're missing piece. Yeah, this is a there's a metal go on top of it, so that will come in contact with this. Like that, it's like a washer. Okay, I don't know if I can find this, but I'll bring it to the shop. There you go. Second piece coming out. Okay. So rinse and repeat. Do it again. Um, the good thing is I found these two in the house so I can utilize them. So it's perfect. I don't have to go and buy it. I found like a, um, a box of tool. In fact, I don't know if anyone changed it because it does not look like. See, it's come up right away. Ooh, put that part. Oh, it's over here. Uh, okay, now I can remove. Ooh, the sun come out. Nice. Nice. Sun come out. Oh, it go away. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna poke my hands. I'm gonna hurt. I'm gonna poke myself here. I'm gonna poke myself. So my option is go get it. If I cannot find it, I have to replace it. Because I use the sink extensively to clean up the house, a lot of stuff. Yeah. I need to get a bright, um, a wire brush. Yeah. Okay. Leave that there. <coughs> okay. Oh, I 
still have this. Dang, so many cards. I wonder how much it's selling for. Might as well get a new one. There you go. Oh, there's no card for this. No. I mean, this is all metal. Unless it's in here. Oh yeah, I can feel it. So, coming up, I don't feel anything. This is all copper or whatever metal. Friends. But I think I feel something in here. Here we go. Pull them out. So there's a line. Both lines that go in. The smooth round go down. It's in down. It's coming up like that. Alright. Jeez. Many parts here. How many mail? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five bell. Okay. This was one. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. 